Aerial surveys are an effective way to identify and track fish populations. We can keep tabs on herring, eulicon, sand lance, and capelin, all types of forage fish. We can follow trends, volume, and movement. Herring and other forage fish are a valuable resource for both human consumption and sustaining a healthy marine environment. The practice of fish spotting is used to help guide boats to schools that are visible from the air. Polarized glasses cut glare and make it easier to see deeper schools. Just put Kevin in as shallow as he can, turn and, and go out and make your set right there. Perfect. Yep, looking good. Yep, you can let him go right there. Okay, now just go ahead and go straight ahead. Straight ahead. That's fine, Ron. You got him. They're, uh, they're just coming, they're right up. They're just beside Kevin right now. Uh, nicely done. Sweet. When herring spawn in the spring, the milt colors the water white. We can use aircraft to record how much shoreline gets spawned. This helps forecast how much fish there will be in the future. Herring fisheries boost local economies. In Prince William Sound in the 90s, declines in herring populations ended our commercial fisheries. This resulted in the need for research so that we could better understand the marine ecosystem and how it affected herring. During summer months, we use a Cessna 185 float plane to observe juvenile herring distribution. The 185 makes an ideal survey platform. Equipped with a number of ways to record data, we can cover a large area in a relatively short amount of time. We also have the ability to circle in small areas so that we can make more detailed observations. Working with a research vessel, we can get the boat to higher density fish areas so that they can gather hydroacoustic data. This also gives us the ability to validate or accurately identify the fish we are observing. If the boat can gather a sample, they can tell us species, size, and age. Sample methods include jigging, cast net, gill net, seine, and underwater camera. A special survey computer is used to record observations. We also back up what we see manually on paper survey sheets. When there is no research boat in the area, sometimes we can get our own validation by stopping and checking the fish ourselves. Oh yeah, they're age one here. Whales are of particular interest. Most marine mammals eat forage fish. We also record sea lion activity and estimate numbers at the rookeries. With experience comes the ability to identify fish from the air. Certain kinds of fish have different characteristics. For example, herring show in round or oval schools. Two-year-old herring have a more grainy appearance than the smaller one-year-old herring. Larger sized herring tend to be in bigger schools. They sparkle and flash. Capelin show in long strings and bands. They don't sparkle. Sandland schools look almost black and have very defined edges. These clues, combined with geographic location and the habitat that fish appear in, help with identification. So one of the things that we try to do when we're doing the aerial surveys is estimate the size of a school. And what we use is we use a sighting tube like this that has, at this end, there's marks that show what the school is. And by looking down the tube, you can figure out how many marks that the uh, school area is and then we can convert based on our altitude and determine what the actual area of the school. that 
we saw was on the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. And, and in all the little embayments, so I think at the south we were calling them age one. At the very north it was sand lance, and in the middle there was some age two that were a little bit deeper. So we'll just kind of try to keep an eye out there. So what I've been doing is when we start our hydroacoustic transects, I've generally just been sending the skiff out to look for feeding flocks or any signs, yeah. you know, whales. Our research covers hundreds of square miles. Due to the fact that fish move and conditions change, it is challenging to get biomass estimates. In 2014, we introduced a more efficient survey strategy. With an overview survey, we can determine high and low density areas. Then, a random selection of sample survey boxes are chosen to focus on. After the survey is complete, a mathematical equation is plugged in and we can come up with more accurate numbers. This method is known as a geographically stratified population estimate. Data and trends over time indicate herring populations in and around Prince William Sound are slowly recovering. The marine environment along the north gulf coast of Alaska appears to be fairly healthy. That said, with a healthy ecosystem comes a healthy population of predators. Whether or not herring will recover to the point where there is a harvestable surplus remains to be seen. Okay, this is showing the fish that are from Hell's Hole. And kind of a bucket of them. It looks like probably close to 200 gram fish. Some of them are smaller. It's a little bit of a mixed mixed bag. But this is uh, what's what's the date today? It's, uh, the seventh, April seventh. These were caught yesterday, April sixth, at Hell's Hole. And there was spawn going off the day before, closer to Redhead, 2013. What we're doing here is we're in a little bite that's full of schools of uh, immature herring and uh, right down here on the bottom and following these schools around just like this, look at this, everywhere we go we got these cod, everywhere and, and you can only see there's there's hundreds of them down there underneath, watch them as they follow their buddy up, it, it's, it's hard to see, see them down there but there's 10, 15 feet down, there's hundreds of these cod. There's so many, that thing didn't even bite. He just, we just lowered the hook and, and snagged him. Look at his belly, he's full of baby herring. With spring spawn surveys and in the summer looking at juvenile herring, we are building a solid knowledge base of these fascinating fish. Ongoing studies in the herring research community will continue to bring us more clues and uncover valuable information.